I want to clear up some uh, literacy confusion now. And here's the question. Are South African children perhaps better at reading than we give them credit for? Given South Africa's weak performance in international testing programs, there is, says Stellenbosch University professor Martin Gustafsson, a strong interest in gauging improvements. A finding that South Africa saw no progress between 2011 and 2016 in the Progress in International Reading Literacy Study Program, which tests grade four reading competencies, was inconsistency, he says, with considerable improvements seen in a couple of other testing measures. This is good news. Professor, good afternoon to you and welcome. Very simply, what do these tests set out at the get-go to establish? Uh, good afternoon, Jeremy, and to your, to your viewers. Um, th these tests are administered to samples of, of learners in South Africa and, and, in, and in other countries. And uh, the aim is, in part, to see whether there's improvement over time. And, uh, yeah, I mean, as, as, as was said in this uh, Sunday Times article, the, there was an error with the uh, 2011 to 2016 trend. Originally, the official uh, international publications pointed to there being no improvement. But after having looked at this again, uh, we finally established that, yes, there was improvement, and it was actually quite a substantial Im improvement. It doesn't mean that we are kind of out of the woods. Uh, uh, reading is still very weak at the primary level, but it, ha it was improving uh, during that period, and it's important to know that it is improving. In your opinion, then, what would constitute improvement? Well, just to kind of give a, give a picture of the magnitude of this, um, in 2016, the grade four learners were reading about as well as the grade five learners were in 2011. So essentially, the system kind of moved up one grade. Another way of looking at it is to say that if we were to continue on this type of trajectory, we would be around about where Malaysia is by 2030. Now, 2030 may seem far away, but the, the, the thing one needs to continuously remember is that educational change takes time. There is no magic switch which will suddenly bring about great levels of reading across 17,000 primary schools. So the entire system needs to move, and we actually do need to be enthusiastic even about uh, relatively small steps uh, ahead. And the question is, you know, how, can we sustain this into the future? And of course, the big question now is what, what has been the effect of all of the COVID-19 disruptions to schooling? Um, yeah. Okay, let, let's park the COVID-19 uh, side of things for just a moment. You say we need to move. Everyone would agree with you. What steps then do we need to take to accelerate the trajectory uh, where in eight years or so we are up to speed with a country like Malaysia? Well, I think on the one hand, we, 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 we need more measurement because if we don't know what's re what, what the trend is, then uh, it's difficult to have an informed discussion. And I think the international systems we programs we participate in are extremely important. And, you know, even despite this error, um, these programs, Pearl's terms, are, 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 are really valuable in terms of understanding progress. But I think my concern is that we don't have enough national initiatives to gauge learning. I mean, our, our, our reading levels at primary level are very poorly monitored. We don't really know which are the, which are the hot spots with really weak learning. So we need to measure, but then we also need to support schools, and I think we're getting better at that. I think where we still need a lot more work is in account accountability. Not so much accountability of teachers. Yes, they must be accountable, but I think the, the systems of accountability should be focusing on the school as, as a unit, as a team of people who need to ensure that these children can read. The school principal is absolutely vital here. But of course, uh, good accountability systems means you need to have good information on what's actually happening uh, with the reading of, of children. So just a quick answer, if you please, in conclusion, how much of a setback to the point that you raised is uh, COVID-19 going to have, given that we've been in lockdown for eight months? Uh, very large, unfortunately, and this is not just a South African problem. Uh, and there are a lot of analysts working on this currently. Uh, it's still not quite clear what the effects are going to be, but we think they're going to be very large. And uh, not, and for instance, if, if five months of schooling is lost, 
it's not just five months of learning that's lost. The disruptions affect children psychologically. There's a forgetting factor. And the, 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 the loss can be much larger than we might initially think. And if we don't remedy this quickly, these are losses that can con sit in the system for years. And we, we, we really need to understand these things well and, 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 and tackle them quite effectively. Thank you very much uh, for clearing that up. Professor Martin Gustafsson from the University of Stellenbosch, appreciate you joining us.